Hi and welcome to this first episode of Cruising with Carl. I'm your host Carl Bird, and in this first episode we're going to get right down to the nitty gritty of cruising and deal with one of those aspects of yachting that many people wish to avoid and that is coming into the berth, putting the boat back in after you've been out for a fun sail. How do you make sure you don't hit the other boats? How do you look somewhat professional? And let me let you in on a little secret. That's not always the case. Sometimes, no matter how many times you put the boat away or how much of a professional yachtsman you are, you will have to do a few uh, approaches to get it right. And there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, that's what we'd encourage people to do. In breaking down coming into the berth, there's a few steps we're going to look at. I'm going to break it down in a few different ways. And it's going to go on over the next about eight episodes, actually. We're just going to look at one aspect on each one. And in the eighth episode, we're going to bring it all together and do some berthing of the boat in some different wind and tide scenarios. So let me show you the first component of the way we're going to break this down. Give me a second. Okay. So what we're going to look at first is the approach. The other part is going to be actually tying, tying up and mooring. But within the approach, we're going to look at four different aspects. The first one is our momentum as we come in. The next one is any wind conditions, and we'll look at momentum with relation to the wind. Uh, we'll look at tide, and then we'll be tying that tide back into our momentum. Uh, our momentum and wind conditions, factor in the tide. And lastly, uh, we'll look at bow or stern approach and, or how we want to end up um, in the berth, in the dock, I guess. So these are the four components we're going to go, go through in the first part of this. And that is under our heading of how do we approach? What's the best way to approach based on the various conditions? So let's take a little bit of a look at momentum for today. Okay, so here we are. This is a layout of a berth, set of docks, set of berths anywhere in the world. And we are looking firstly at momentum. And there's a couple of key points I want to make as we talk about momentum. Now if we assume that here is our normal channel, this is where all our traffic's flowing either way, and we come up the channel, and we're gonna make our turn in towards our berth. Now, as we come along, we've got momentum in this direction. But as we make our turn towards our berth, in this case, going nose in, once we're on the approach, we've got momentum for a little while in a couple of different directions. So we have the engine that's pushing us in the, and the rudder pushing us in the direction that the boat is headed. But we also have the, ro ro the leftover momentum from when we were traveling this way. Remember that our vessels weigh a couple of tons at least. And that momentum will be causing, as we do this turn, will be causing the boat to somewhat slide, like that. Minor, but enough to make a difference. Enough to make you slide into the uh, neighboring vessel, or enough to help you get yourself on the dock or offset wind. So in this scenario, if we're looking to come into this berth here, and we've got the choice, bearing in mind solely momentum, of either heading down and turning in, or going past, turning around, and then turning in, we can see that with option A, just coming down and doing the turn, our momentum will carry us this way, will continue to carry us this way, which puts in danger this vessel and makes it difficult 
for anyone standing on our boat with lines to get them onto the dock because the boat will be wanting to go away from the dock. This is in the absence of any wind or tide, the absence of any external forces on the vessel. But with option B, as we come in and we turn the vessel, we'll turn it before and that will enable us to come and sit up against the dock. And so anyone here will have more of a chance. The boat will end up sitting against the dock. Someone getting a stern line on here will be able to do that. So momentum plays a very important factor. It's the difference between people feeling like they can't get close enough to the dock, the, the person on the helm, you know, trying to tell people to jump onto the dock and then pull the lines in, or the boat coming in and sitting against the dock. So the best option here will be to come in, do the turn, and then come into the boat, in the, into the uh, end of the berth, in the absence of any other factors. This turn here, if this is a narrow uh, gap in between the fingers, uh, can be executed as a J turn, and we'll do that in another episode. And that is the effect of momentum. And the same goes whether you're going in reverse or in a stern in or bowing to this dock. You do have the option here of coming down, going past your berth, and then going astern. We come astern, and we stern in. Again, momentum's going to carry us onto our dock. So that is the importance of momentum, the first factor as we consider our approach to our berth.